Adam Pacisi from Cultaholic.com, joined today by Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. How are you doing today? Fantastic. How about yourself? I'm really good. Thanks yeah, for asking. It's cool, Not many right? people this ask. It's awesome. This is incredible. Right? The performance center. Right? So Everyone, everyone's around here playing the game right now. It's really ball. fascinating watching people and seeing who they're choosing. So uh, I've just seen Velveteen Dream. Uh, did, he, did he choose himself? No, he didn't. Okay, who did he uh, choose? He he made a five-way match with oh. the Ultimate Warrior, wow, okay. Dusty Rhodes, yep. Ted DiBiase, yep. Papa Shango, yep. I think, and another one who I can't remember. But it they're going for me. they're going for the guys that they grew up with. It doesn't surprise watching. me. Oh, well, I, I came in this morning at eight thirty. And uh, I saw the TVs all set up. So, of course, I played the game this morning. You've had a chance and, uh, to play. I played the game this morning as myself. It was the first time I ever saw myself in the game. And uh, my first match was Johnny Gargano versus Shawn Michaels from 1997. Of course. Yeah. Is that still a dream? Yes, always. Yeah. It will never not be a dream. This is, this is a dream. But, of course, wrestling Shawn Michaels was, is the ultimate dream. Totally. So what, what are your thoughts on the game overall? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, the graphics blew my mind. I am incredibly tan in the game, which you is are awesome. A bronze god. Super pumped that I chose to get scanned the day that I was super tan. Uh, it, it, I was in the game last year, and to be in the game again this year, it never, it never gets old. It's never something where I'm like, oh, I'm in another wrestling game. Because I'm such a wrestling nerd, and I'm such a wrestling fan, and I'm such a video game nerd, that this is the coolest thing in the world for me. And... Uh, the game and the engine, I, I figured out how to do my spear and my rolling kick really quick. So I just kept hitting those moves back to back to back to back to back on Shawn Michaels from 1997. <laughs> I still lost, ultimately, the sweet shin music, but, you know, I at least tried. Are you, uh, are you a uh, Zack Ryder in that you collect all of your figures as well? I do. Yeah. I, I do. can't blame you. So I would do the exact same. Zack Ryder is next level. Like, I'm so jealous <laughs> yeah. of his collection. Man, his I have, Hasbros and I stuff. haven't even oh. started on Hasbros because I'm like, once I start... It's it's all downhill from there. Like I gotta get them all, uh, but yeah. So like Sp Spider Man and like uh, the the Jacks uh, WF figures, like uh, the Power Rangers. Like so I collect mm -hmm. like Marvel Legends. Like so I'm such a big like nerd when it comes to that stuff. I'm the yeah. exact same. Yeah. I want to you leave them in the box. You take them out. No, I play with them. You play with yeah, them. Yeah, you absolutely should. Not anymore. Like I've got. So a I. My ones from like the early '90s. I leave in the box. Okay. Because for me, I'm like the artwork is one of the coolest parts. And I just love looking at the boxes. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I leave those in, but other ones I can... I mean, I, I've i got two, three hundred Do in you? my attic, and back of my parents' house, all the Hasbros, all of that stuff. I want to talk a bit about storytelling in wrestling. Yes. Um, I think a lot of fans would agree with me when they say that yours and Tommaso Ciampa's storyline over the, the past however many months, years, has been uh, one of the best stories told, not just in NXT, but probably WWE yep. as a whole. So what's the secret to great storytelling and wrestling? I think you just got to be real. I think the thing with me and Tommaso, the thing with DIY, uh, it was just organic. It wasn't something that was manufactured. It was never supposed to happen. Uh, we were two guys who were never supposed to be here, who scratched and clawed and did everything we could to kind of make our dreams come true. And uh, what you saw on the screen was a real friendship blossoming. I mean, me and Tommaso were friends on the indies, but coming to the NXT, we were forced to team together, we were paired together, we were forced to share a hotel room together, and it grew into a very real friendship. I mean, he's he was in my wedding, all that stuff. He, we moved to Orlando together. We shared an apartment. When me and Candace got married, he moved in with us. Like we were all we all three lived together. Uh, that was very real, and I think that's what made it so, I guess, tragic for fans. Is you saw a very a very real friendship get torn apart, and. Uh, it helps that we are kind of polar opposites in the sense where you look at me, you kind of see a prototypical baby face. You look at him, you see a prototypical heel, like a bad guy. And I don't know what the future holds, but I say it's almost like the Batman and the Joker. Uh, we're destined to do this forever, so we'll see what happens next. Do you think uh, the people in charge see it the same way? I think so. I mean, we've been very, very lucky uh, to main event three takeovers, which is mind-blowing to me. Uh, I've main evented four takeovers in a row. And for me, as an indie wrestler, I used to watch TakeOver and be like, I just want to perform in a TakeOver. I remember my first TakeOver was TakeOver Brooklyn. It was uh, me and Tommaso against Revival. Yeah. And um, just to be a part of a TakeOver was a very special thing for us because they are special. Like the atmosphere, the electricity. And I'll put TakeOvers up against any wrestling show in the world, any show in the world, any entertainment aspect in the world. It's just so amazing. Like, Agreed. Like it, it, it's there's nothing like a takeover, and uh, to main event the past four, 
is super cool and uh, it's not something that's lost on me. It's really, really wild. I mean, I, I guess there's an obvious answer to this one, uh, but what do you still want to achieve in NXT I, apart from the title? That's, that's the most obvious answer. Uh, I love NXT. And that's not me just doing a company shill. That's not me saying, oh, we're in the performance center, so I'm going to say good stuff about NXT. That's legitimately how I feel. I love this company. I feel like we have the best talent roster in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bunch of guys who just love what we do. And you walked in this building and you felt it yourself. It's special. Uh, NXT is special. And people ask me all the time about going up to the main roster or moving on or doing things like that. I am I am very happy with what I built in NXT, and I feel like there's bigger and better things here for me to accomplish in NXT. I want to take NXT to levels that it's never seen before, and I know that's hard to do because it's it's at the top right now. I feel, but I feel we can go even higher. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, NXT, Tommaso Ciampa's NXT champion. I feel that's my fault. I feel ultimately I need to, I need to right that wrong, and for me the goal since day one was always be the NXT champion. And I hope one day that happens. It's interesting you talk about the uh, the sort of the feeling of NXT. And we walked in this building today, and the sense of community and the the camaraderie that you feel. Yeah. So there were some matches on earlier, mm -hmm. and at numerous points in the match, the the journalists who are here today uh, were just watching the match, and then everybody, all of the wrestlers around, start clapping yep. and start cheering on, and it's obvious that everybody is behind everybody else here, and it's that must be nice to come to work it and is. feel. It's such a team aspect. We're all on the same page. We're all working for one common goal, and that's to make this place as special as possible. Um, I've been a part of wrestling in some way, shape, or form since I was eight years old. I've never been a part of something as special as NXT. Uh, and like I said earlier, like my goal is just keep going higher and higher and higher. And I feel like the wrestling world is behind us. Uh, I feel like everyone wants to see everyone succeed, and that's what happen, happens in this building, too. Like, I want to see that guy succeed. I want to see a guy who just started succeed. I want to see a guy who's been here for five years succeed. Like, it's all a team. We're a family here, and that's, you don't find that anywhere. Trust me, I've been, like I said, I've been around wrestling for a long time. You don't find that places, and it's very, very cool. That's so cool to hear. Imagine you get called up to the main roster tomorrow, and you can do whatever you want. What do you want to do? Obviously, I guess if we're if we're talking, I mean, he was just on Raw recently, so uh, <laughs> me and Shawn Michaels obviously would yeah. be uh, a good one. But You're not bothered about Mick Foley, he was here. Uh, Mick Foley was there yeah. too. Like, uh, he's great. Like, I I don't know if like maybe I have a Hell in a Cell match with Mick Foley eventually. <laughs> uh, but I I say it too if we're just going strictly main roster. Like I think I know he's brought it up before in in interviews. But me and Daniel Bryan doing something together Absolutely. would be uh, pretty wild. Uh, I just tweeted something recently about me in Captain America Infinity War gear and uh, someone else in Thanos gear. So I think uh, me and Seth Rollins doing something would be pretty cool. And ultimately me and AJ Styles, I think he's the WWE champion. Uh, and uh, he, I think for my money, he's the, the best performer of our generation right now. Totally. So I think uh, me and AJ would be pretty fun too. Do you get excited thinking about things like that, or is your mind solely focused on NXT right now? Uh, I mean, it's exciting to think about possible dream matches one day. Uh, but right now, like I'm, I'm so absorbed in what I do here. Uh, and I'm so absorbed in our talent roster because, like I said, like I'll put up our locker room against anyone in the world. I think when it comes to pure wrestling talent and just like passion and heart and ability, I think like NXT is special. And I, I've used the word special a lot in this interview, but I mean, it, it is. It feels it. It, it really does. does feel it. I want to finish off with a bit of word association, yes. if that's cool with you. I'm going to say some words. First thing that pops into your yep. head, William Regal. Mentor. Nice. Um, Tommaso Ciampa. Bad person. <laughs> of course. Uh, NXT. Special. Vince McMahon. I'm going to go with Be boss. Careful. I'm going to go boss. Boss. That's, a, that's boss. a really safe, boss. safe choice. Boss. Triple H. Other boss. He's a boss and just, I can't, I can't just pick a word. It's so hard to just say a word. Uh, you can have a few words. A few words. Um, inspiring. Dusty Rhodes. So hard. Let's see the trophy right there. Uh, I'm just, he was around here before I got here. So I'm I'm super bummed that I never got a chance sure. to do promos and stuff with Dusty Rhodes. Like I'm, that that makes me so sad that I never got a chance to learn promos and stuff from him. So I don't want to say sad because that's wrong, 
but he still feels the reason I, I asked is because he feels like a big part of the he does still. and I'm so bummed that I never got a chance to actually work with him uh, but yeah like he is a huge part of this place as you can see there's the, the trophy right over there and the dreams right up there and I mean he's just like I use the word inspiring for Triple H too but he's also inspiring like a guy who went out there and just like passion I mean I'll go passion on that one fantastic uh, Johnny it's been an absolute pleasure I really enjoyed this thank you thank very you, much buddy. my pleasure anytime Thank you.